We are in Denmark, the pearl of the Scandinavian peninsula. The birthplace of Lego and known to be one of the happiest nations on the planet Earth. We've got Denmark to thank for Google Maps and the loudspeaker. We've driven all the way here from Wales in our green bus with the Hellebunda. The plan is to spend the next two months exploring Scandinavia, heading all the way up to the Arctic Circle in Norway. This week we have already experienced plummeting temperatures. Holy smoke. <laughs> this cabin is nice. Look at that. That does not look inviting. It looks grey and freezing cold. It's okay. So join us as we adapt to the cold on our winter van life operation. Can you book a flight to Denmark? Our pipes have just burst. Make sure you're sitting comfortably, preferably sitting upright. And then when you're ready, just taking some big deep breaths, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Everybody, it was a cold one last night. It's five o'clock in the morning. I have to get up to turn up the heater. I want to know what temperature it is because it feels like a freezer in here. Is it snowing outside? It's not snowing, no. no. It's minus 7.5. We slept in the same situation with the temperature, with the heater on last night, and we were sweating. And I am so cold this morning. It's woken us up, you know. We've actually gone up to level two on the heater. Maybe we should put it on three. So it's two degrees in the boot. That pipe that we've put in with the diesel heater to the boot is working. I want to make sure that the water heater is still working. Let's try it out. The van life no no, I'm literally just wasting water. But I think we're okay for now. Back to bed. In the next few hours, we will be on an island in Denmark. But we've got a bit of a problem. Travis feeling rough. How are you doing, kid? Would you like a coffee? So. What about a cake? Take a donut. She's fine, there's nothing wrong with her. So we lost the foam from our grey tank, which protects the tank pad, which keeps it hot. So I found like a hardware store seven minutes away. So we're gonna go there, get some supplies. I'm gonna try and fix it. And also we need to do a shop before we go to Scandinavia. We're still in Germany, we're right on the border, but we know Denmark's gonna be. <laughs> so we need to go to Lidl, mate, stock up. Soup for the next two months as a kid. Yeah. We started putting our shoes in front of the heater in the morning before we put them on just to warm them up. Also I forgot to take the bike battery off last night so I'm hoping that it works because it was minus eight so trying to revive her with a bit of heat. She's bloody freezing. Put your electric blanket on your seat babes you got a coffee in your little pot. You're a spoiled cow aren't you? You're very good to me Craig thank you very much. Got a chauffeur, a chef, a bloody barrister. Barista. That's what I said. Oh you want to fight on my legal battles for me? Even though I feel a bit rubbish today <coughs> I'm determined to have a great day. That's the attitude, Trevor. I'm not sure this is what I need, but we'll try anyway. It was a fine store, but I didn't have what I wanted. So that grey tank's still exposed. You okay in there? We got a town for the trolley. I've only got notes. I'll have to carry it then. Uh, okay, we have got enough food. We're we gonna put all this now. Just put it all in the bathroom. <laughs> Alright lads, we're stocked up on food and we're off to Denmark. Trev's having a little kip in the back, she's feeling rough still. So it's just me and the open road. <laughs> Shout out to all the German homies though. Appreciate you, we've always had a good time in Germany. And also, thanks for making custard. Jeez, a head turner, especially here. They're probably just thinking, what the f are you doing up here this time of year? 50 miles and we'll be on a Danish island. We're in Denmark. 
Denmark, baby! Alright, so we're approaching the bridge that crosses over to Romo. I think that's what it's called. Don't come for us in the comments with these pronunciations because we've never been to Denmark before. How class is this? We haven't actually met anyone Denmarkish yet either. Danish. Danish. <laughs> You can't say that anymore because you're vegan. <laughs> <coughs> this is insane. Like you only really get these colours when someone does a water painting. You never really see them properly with your eyes. I was thinking about going for a dip in that sea, but there's literally ice in the sea. Yeah, don't do that. You're coming with me. It's good for you, your that's immune system, That's babes. exactly why I say don't do that, because I know I'll be coming too. We've kind of got here a bit late. The sun is setting. Yeah, so first we're heading for a beach that you can actually drive on. Hopefully we don't make the same mistake we made last summer. No, 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 we're proper sunk. We're sinking. That is sunk. No, no, we're, we're stuck. We are actually stuck. Then we've got a park up. You can't actually do any wild camping here. I found a sick spot though. Excuse me, is it okay to drive on here? Okay, perfect. This is mad. This is massive. You think she'll let me pet her dog? So we're just walking down to the sea because Craig said he's going to go in. No, I never. A dip. <laughs> I said I was going to put my finger in and see what it was like. I am tempted though. I I'm tempted, but I know because I'm full up with this head cold, it just wouldn't do me any favours going in. But it any, looks, any excuse. It looks so inviting. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it really does. It though. doesn't. Show mate. them. Look at that. That does not look inviting. It looks grey and freezing cold. It's okay. You're such a liar. <laughs> See, it's fine. Oh, yeah. it was so cold. It took my finger like 10 seconds to realize how cold it was. It just, just went numb. I think I might lose a limb if I go in there. It has been on my bucket list for a long, long time to do ice water swimming, like with ice or icebergs or something. It's not something I've really wanted to ever do. And now that it could potentially happen on this trip, I'm terrified. At home when it was warm, I was like, yeah, we're going ice water swimming. But when you come out in this temperature, the last thing you want to be is cold. But we have to do it at some point. Maybe not now, not now. <laughs> Alright, to the camp spot. Whoa! <laughs> it's a whiteout! Holy smokes! And there's no one around either, there's a bit of a ghost town. Trev's in the back having a kip, still really ill. But I've pinned in a beach to surf on and it's really difficult to find. Alright lads, we found another drive on beach. I was going to wake up on a snowy beach and not know where she is. The surf looks rubbish though, which is really disappointing. Good place for a cup of that. Five years ago, I heard about an app called Headspace. I downloaded it, did my first guided meditation, and ever since then, I've been hooked. I'd always been fascinated with the idea of meditating and to help calm my overthinking mind, but I just never knew where to start. Headspace makes meditating easy. It teaches you simple techniques to help you improve your focus and your mental health, and over time, become the master of your own mind. And that's what I've always been looking for, a bit of peace and to calm my inner thoughts. The first time I tried it, my mind was bouncing all over the place. But the more you meditate, the quieter your mind becomes. I've experienced some serious Zen moments where I feel like time has just completely stopped and I'm nowhere. It's one of the best feelings I've ever had. Do you ever find yourself all tensed up, your jaws locked and your shoulders are raised? Well, the chances are you're probably breathing really shallow as well. Learning to recognize your breathing can change the whole way your body feels. 
and Headspace has taught me to be a more mindful breather. Not only are there guided meditations, there's also mindful walks and runs, breathing exercises, and sleep content to help you drift off. Just take a moment to notice what you can see. The app is simple to use, gives you stats of your meditating journey. And one of my favorite parts is you can choose specific meditation courses depending on what you're experiencing or struggling with. So be kind to yourself, sign up and try out Headspace today free for 60 days by clicking the link in our description. <laughs> That's pretty mad, isn't it? Hopefully we don't get stuck. Never seen anything like it, to be honest. Sand under here somewhere, but it's just covered in snow. That water looks cold and dark as well. I am keen for a wave, but I'm also pretty scared. <laughs> this is deep as well. Lovely spot. Shame about the It's nice snowing heavily, so I didn't want to get stranded on the beach. So now we need to find somewhere to park. It is chucking it down with snow. It's the first time I've actually seen it coming down because we keep waking up to it. it. Feels so bizarre around here, man. It's like everyone's just gone home. Or like they've left Denmark for the winter, apart from me and Amy. Found the campsite, lads. Look at this. Let's check in and see if they've got any spaces for us. Locked. Amy just had a shower. Next thing we know, <laughs> pipes burst. Something's come loose under the cupboard. Story of our fing <laughs> lives in this van. Hoping I can fix it, because if I can't, then I don't know what we're going to do. Worst part is we've got to empty this whole cupboard. Do you remember before when I said. It's not that I've not got faith in him, but um... Do you remember the last time Craig touched the plumbing? The pipe's just burst! <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I'm on the truth. We want something to be off by there, don't we? Because if it's not, let's come off inside the wall in the shower. And we can't get to that, can we? Oh God, I think it is actually in the wall in the shower. We were just sat here and it sounded like the shower had just turned on itself. So we ran to the bathroom, but there was nothing coming out of the shower. So I've got a feeling it's one of the pipes that obviously sit between the walls. I don't even know how we would get into that without butchering the whole thing. Big turn it off. Oh, it's under here. Actually behind that drawer, you can see it coming out. I can hear it. Oh, so it's just this pipe here. Just popped off. I'm not sure why, because that's the cold one. We can just tighten them up. Did, did you do that bit of plumbing down there? No. I've got your Christmas dinner here for you, Craig. <laughs> It'll literally take about two minutes for me to make it. No slaving over a hot stove all day. Pot noodle for you. This is the culprit. Just come off. I'm not sure what that is. Give him a little. Test. That going back on. I think we're good. Yay! My man is a plumber! <laughs> Who's cleaning up then? I'm not very well, so if you can just put everything back, I'm then that'd be great. I'm not very well either, I caught your bug. I really hope you haven't caught it. And it's gonna be man flu. So I'm in for a bad two weeks, not just bad one week. Shut up. <laughs> is that Gary from Barry? I don't know, let me have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Can you book a flight to Denmark? Our pipes have, pipes have just burst. What pipes? Doesn't matter what pipes, you need to get on a plane. <laughs> I fixed them, I have, it's no sweat. How cold are you over there? 0.3 degrees. Mm -hmm. Go on then, tell the world why you're a little weirdo. So Amy's been ill, and she's passed it on to me. So last night I had the worst night of my life. Didn't get any sleep, I was having fever dreams and all kinds. And I've woken up this morning, I don't have my glasses on, but I can see crystal clear. Man can see! It's a miracle! I can see my phone <laughs> crystal clear and I can read all those number plates and I never would be able to do that without my glasses. Am I Jesus? He's going, looking in the mirror. I haven't got glasses on, have I? I can see. I mean, that's great. How does it feel when you put your glasses on? Can you not see? Yeah, I can see, but it's like, it's not far off. Hey Siri, I can see again. Why? <laughs> Not even Siri knows the answer. Come on, baby Jesus, let's um, get on the road. Miracle. I think 
going to be doing studies on this. How, how, what's going on? I've got 2020 vision again. So this is where we fill up our fresh water. So we've got two problems. Our water inlet attachment snapped in the snow. And the other problem is that's the only pipe that hasn't got heated wires on it. So it's frozen. So I need a blowtorch and a new one of them. Got a new piece, got a blowtorch. I'll show you the plan later. Oh, all right, thing. no good. Ah! and chops. The plague has taken the whole household. Uh, I just went out to check the surf. It was cold out but I think I've still got a fever because I just started convulsing. So I don't think it's a good idea me getting in the North Sea which is a shame because there was loads of people out there surfing and I was jealous. So we need to find somewhere to sleep now because I'm ready for bed mate. It's like three o'clock. Also my eyesight's gone again. Can't see anymore. Oh, oh no. Didn't last very long. Oh. It wasn't a Christmas miracle. It wasn't a miracle. So we found the class little park up. It's in the forest. Everything's dusted with snow. Kessa's just fitting in nicely at the back. So hopefully there's no polar bears or any wolves knocking about. So we're gonna sleep here tonight, just get cozy and take some time to heal our broken bodies. Pajama party pizza, yeah? <coughs> oh dear, smelly pajama party. There's room enough. Trev put the kettle on to make some tea and she just didn't make it. So if you're wondering what happened to Keith the kettle, he's still with us. Even though we've got the coffee machine, we use Keith for like teas and quick coffee. So thumbs up for Keith. Amy just said we should call the coffee machine Katie. Katie the coffee machine. That's rubbish. All right, answers in the comments. What should we call the coffee machine? Achoo! So just to give you all a little update, after we found that park up in the forest, I got really ill, I caught Amy's bug, and we've literally been bed bound for like five days. So Amy's been my little nurse. We ran out of water and we ran out of power in the forest, so we had to find a campsite. So we've been in this campsite for three nights and literally just couldn't get out of bed. But the whole thing turned into an ice rink because it was raining and then it dropped to minus. So I went to go for a shower the other night and stacked it, just slept on my house. I'm actually gutted I missed it, I really am. <laughs> so you can actually get out with custard if, even if we wanted to. So we're hoping that it melts today and that we can leave and head towards Sweden. But we're gutted really because we had all these plans with Denmark. We were stoked to see it. I wanted to surf but we've run out of time and sometimes things don't go to plan. So we're just taking the time to get better. So we'll have to come back to Denmark because what yeah. we've seen has been amazing. But yeah, I'm stoked to to see Sweden as well. So yeah, hopefully we get the boat tomorrow. Morning everyone. So today is Craig's birthday, but he hasn't been feeling well lately, so um, I'm gonna make him his favorite breakfast. Craig loves a special breakfast, so this one might take some time to prepare. We've been so ill, we haven't had a chance to go to the shop. We'll improvise. I know he loves a good banana in the morning. So, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, 
Happy birthday, dear Craig. Happy birthday to you. Blow out your candle. Yeah. Aww. Congratulations. I've made you um, a very special breakfast this morning. What um, the hell's going on there? Bit of this, bit of that. It's a marshmallow. It's a marshmallow. It's your birthday! Your birthday present's actually under the bed, so if you can just roll over a bit, I'll just lift it with you on. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> there we go. Now, you should know, this is taking up valuable space in my closet part. Okay, so just hold my hand a second and promise me that you'll still talk to me after you've opened this present. What? Say I promise. Promise? Okay, go ahead. It's the weirdest birthday morning of my life. <laughs> Rip it open! Oh, what? Get in! Nintendo yes! Switch. You've been on about one for ages and I thought... Did you get me a game? I've got you a game, yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're not going to go and shout on me. No, no, <laughs> you promised! <laughs> We're on, lads. Don't not speak to me now. No, oh, Craig. All right, mission, get custard ready for the road, begins. You didn't have that many birthday presents. It's embarrassing, isn't it? That's like the whole two weeks that we've been on the road, though. We haven't actually got rid of uh, anything just yet. <laughs> That's it, get your bus ready, Mr. Bus Driver Man. You should be driving, it's my birthday. <laughs> I don't have a license for this bus. Custer the bus will always start. She is a living legend. We are gonna have a look again, an engine preheater for when we go higher and it gets a lot colder. Because at the moment, it's eight degrees. So uh, we haven't got nothing to worry about. You sit, you stay there. Your little 50 year old hands, babe. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Maybe the guy didn't see me. Vandalism, that. Champion. Third stop, the bins. Number three, the peapot. Good yeah. seconds on this kid. <gasps> That's the heaviest pea I've ever. Held. You don't need to see this bit. Four. Great waste. Let it rip. Lush. If you want to come in, I can put the kettle on. Uh, last stop, laundry. Smell that. Oh, it doesn't smell like ramen anymore. I was doing this the other day, he was like, why can I smell beef ramen? I was like, it might have been my armpit, okay? I'll deep, bro. Happy birthday, bestie! Thanks, guys. What are you, 46 now? Yeah. <laughs> the world is such a better, more beautiful place with you in it. Thanks, I mean buddy. that from the bottom of my heart. So I've decided, because I'm such a wonderful girlfriend, that um, Craig can choose something off the internet for me to make. So for his birthday meal, he gets to choose anything in the world and we're going to go and buy the ingredients for it now um uh, i can't say it'll be any good this one. yes okay go with that one shashuka i mean i've never made it before but it's probably going to be the best shashuka you've ever had so i said also don't think you're getting out and doing the shop craig oh what it's my birthday you know i hate shopping the thing is we didn't buy a pound for the trolley so i have to carry all the ingredients and um been a little bit unwell recently and i need some help will you come you talk to me can't you just have a sandwich these in your pocket, Craig. Great, great for fake tanning. This one? 
sourdough. Oh, it feels good. What'd you put it in? Your mouth. How much do you think this is going to be? 70 quid. 94 pounds. Quite a lot of stuff though. Oh my god, they're bread. You spent 91 on crisps. And you'll be the one going, oh, remember those crisps you bought? Go and get them. I know your game. Come on then, Chef Banzi. Show us where you go. Love a bit of birthday gruel. Don't set me up for failure. Go on, do a wheelie up the curb. <laughs> Double grab a bag. Um. Here we go then, Bosch TV's shakshuka. This is all the ingredients that we need apart from one. We couldn't find tahini, so... Bit of a key ingredient. If it's rubbish, it was just because we didn't have any tahini. That is what we're going with. I would give you a hand, but me and Mario got things to do. This is the life, eh? <laughs> You're lucky it's your birthday. Chop your onion, red tomato, garlic and cherry tomatoes. Chop your onion. Will you shut up? Got it. Ah. Love that thing. Warm the olive oil in a high sided frying pan over a medium heat. Add in your onion, red pepper, smoked paprika, cumin, and salt and pepper and stir through. Fill up the can halfway with water and chuck it in the pan. You winning? I completed it twice, I'm just doing it a third time. Nooch. It's not really hummus consistency, that is it? That'll do. Okay, so we didn't have any tahini sauce to make the tahini dressing, so I'm just gonna make it up. Work. Quack. Always oh, elevated there. Who knows? I'm gonna add my own pièce de résistance. Olives. Lots of. Shakshuka is simmering. Sim Simmer, who's got the keys? We're chopping our parsley. You ready for the end result? We're gonna try and create some kind of sauce. Make small wells and spoon your tofu mixture into these wells. You should have enough for at least four eggs. Oh, he's coming. We're gonna go get cheesy. Come on. We'll stick with the lemon. Oh, yes. Yes, baby B. I mean, come on. Which one's off the recipe? I'm a bit of a sweaty mess now. Let's get ready to eat. Much better. Can we eat yet, Trev? What are you doing in there? I've got surprise for you. I got one for you. Lynette, you? <laughs> don't break. That was bad sportsmanship. We look great. <laughs> Do you love the second surprise? Love it babe. Not so much? Love it. With my food, I'm starving. Listen, hun, hon, while you play video games. She's, I'm like, can we eat? She's like, no, put your pajamas on. All right, here it is. Bloody hell, that looks great. Why do you sound so surprised, fam? All right, make some room. Balls. Oh, amazing, if I do say so myself. Thank you very much, I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. Holy hell. One of those. <laughs> well done, kid. That's banging. And if you are interested, I did save the world with Mario. Really flavour some that, isn't it? That's like nothing we would normally eat. Shakshuka in Denmark. I did, um, I did actually make um, my own brand of uh, sauce because we didn't have tahini, so give that a go. I'll pop a bit on for you. Is she Master Chef 2022? Mmm, nice. This is the first full day we've had for five days. Because we travel so much, we don't get to be in one place and you know go and grab a bunch of ingredients to actually make something. So I think that's why we love this bus so much. And traveling in custard is just it's great. So are you too tired to play video games? You can lie down and do that. Do I get to have a go or? Yeah. All right, babes, the kettle's on. Did you want um, Santa or the elf? <laughs> I'll go Santa. <sighs> you can have Santa. No, it's your birthday. No, go on, you have it. No, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here you are, good sir. 
A cup of Twining's finest. Thank you very much. Don't wet the bed now, okay? I'll try not to. So we're gonna have a little cup of tea, let our food go down, and then I've convinced Trev to have ah, a Don't drink the tea! Oh, burn my lips off. You are a hazard. Oh. What I was gonna say is I've convinced Trev to do a little meditation with me just to get us nice and relaxed for bed. I've been playing too much Nintendo Switch. The only reason why he isn't on it now isn't because he needs to relax. It's because he's downloading a game and it's going to take 18 hours on our Wi-Fi. <laughs> but we do need to relax. This is self-care Tuesday. And uh, I'm ready for it. <sighs> Let's do it. I actually really need this right now, I think. Yeah? Mm. When we drive in the dark, it just my anxiety goes through the roof. The driving of this whole next sort of country is just going to not be great for me. I'm going to have to drop you off somewhere. Yeah, I'll meet you in Loft and I'll just fly. It's a nice soft focus, aware of the space around you. Just taking a couple of big deep breaths, breathing in through the nose. All right, lads, tomorrow we get the ferry to Sweden. So we'll see you there. Also, don't forget to download Headspace. You're going to love it.